So today on this episode of Techtronics 101, I'm going to be telling you guys how to create an evil twin attack with a captive portal that opens to the login screen as soon as a user connects to it. So for this video, you would be requiring two Wi-Fi adapters which support monitor mode and package injection. Kali Linux or Parrot OS and active internet connection. So now open terminal and type in these two commands before you get started, which is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And after this, type in git clone and the fluxions repo. All the commands are going to be in the description below. So now after this, let's move on to the attack. Part one of the attack is us capturing a WPA handshake of the network which we want to target and then using fluxion and the WPA handshake which we are going to be capturing to create an evil twin attack with a captive portal. So after this, let's type in Armon ng check kill and then type in Armon ng start VLAN 0. I'm typing in VLAN 0 here because under my interfaces, I'm gonna type in IW config. My Wi Fi is listed as VLAN 0 as my main Wi Fi adapter, and VLAN 1 as my secondary Wi Fi adapter. So after entering this command, monitor mode should be enabled for the adapter you specified. For me, it was a TP Link WN722N. So after this, type in arrow dump ng vlan zero. And here I have found the network I want to target, which is Rasmadas three. And I'm going to be stopping the attack by control C. And then I'm going to type in arrow dump ng hyphen w the name of the file i want to save the handshake as and the bss id of the network which is going to be this and the channel and here you can see after typing the command the bss id i have typed and the bss id of the network is the same and the channel of the network is also the same and I have typed in hyphen w rasmitas3 so that rasmitas3 is going to be the name of the file which we're going to be capturing and hit enter and now go to the new tab and type in air e play dot hyphen hyphen dot 10 hyphen a and the bss id of the network you want to target with your VLAN 0, the name of the card. The BSS ID of the network and the BSS ID that we have typed in is the same. And now hit enter. And now you should be kicking off all the clients which are connected to the network. And by now we should be able to capture the WPA handshake. Press Ctrl C to stop the attack. I'm going to type in ls to list all the files in this current directory. As you can see here, we have rasmadas 3-01.cap as a capture file which we required. And now I'm going to type in cd fluxion to go to the directory which we just created over here in this step. Type it ls to list the commands. And then type in fluxion.sh to run the fluxion script. 
and I'm going to be selecting my language, which is English. And select captive portal to create the attack. I'm going to be selecting the TP-Link WN 7 to version 3 as my main adapter. And it says select a channel to monitor. I'm going to be selecting all channels on the 2.4 gigahertz network. And here you can see, I'm going to make this a bit more bigger. The ESS ID is Rasmitas 3 as the network I want to be targeting. Control C to stop the attack. As you can see, Rasmitas 3 is 005. Type in 5. So now you're going to be selecting your secondary interface here. For me, it's a TP Link Archer TTU Plus, which is option 2. And now select an interface for jamming is still going to be my secondary interface, which is the deep link Archer TTU plus. And now select an interface for the access point, which is going to be our main Wi-Fi adapter, which is the TP link WN 722N. It's going to be option two. And now for this, I'm going to be selecting a replay NG, which is option two. And now here select a rogue AP host APD because that's bit more faster than airbase ng and now select curve party which is going to be option one and now let's leave the path of the handshake which we captured over in this part and that's going to be hyphen root hyphen rasma Taj three hyphen zero one dot cap and select calf party verification to verify the hash which we just captured. That's the handshake which we captured. So that's gonna be option two. And our hash is verified successfully. And here select create an SSL certificate. And it says select a connectivity type for your rogue network. Disconnected is where there would be no internet on the network. So any user connects to the network, there would be no internet. So that the user has to enter the password for this fake AP to disappear. That's when our, that's when we are going to be cutting off the network after we receive the password. And emulated is where the user receives Wi-Fi connection on our fake access point which I would be recommending you guys to take disconnected. So when there's no internet, the user for sure would enter the Wi-Fi password if he gets fooled. And if it's emulated, he might just be continuing to use the network, though it's a fake network. So select one, which is going to be disconnected. And now here, there's a huge list of all Wi-Fi manufacturers like Aces, DP-Link, D-Link, Netgear. I'm going to be selecting TP-Link here because the manufacturer of Rasmitas 3 is TP-Link and was shown in this step. Now after typing in 68, our access points should be created. So now the access point is created with the captive portal. So I'm going to be going to a Windows client machine to show how a client would see the network as. So here I'm on a Windows desktop, which is the latest version. And here I'm going to be going down to the Wi-Fi icon. Here you can see that there's the fake Rasmatas 3, which is an open network. So now I'm going to be connecting to it. So as soon as the user gets connected, he's going to automatically open this page, which says firmware update upgrade. A new version of the firmware has been detected and awaiting installation. Please review our terms and conditions and proceed. Here I'm going to be entering a fake password. 
it's not going to be my actual password of my router so as soon as i enter my fake password and start upgrade it's going to say wrong password the password you entered has not matched the network password please go back and enter the correct password here i'm going to be going back and entering the right password now So now after I have entered the right password and click on start upgrade because it's the right password is going to go to the firmware upgrade and process page and by now on our Kali machine we should be having the password. So here I'm on the Kali machine and here you can see it says password was saved in such a directory. So now we're going to be going to this directory and seeing whether we have the password or not. So here I'm going to be going to a new tab and going to the directory fluxion hyphen attacks hyphen captive portal hyphen netlog and then to our asmatas 3 text file. So here I'm going to be tapping in cd fluxion then ls to list all the files cd attacks and then ls to list all the files again and then cd captive portal. And then I'm going to go to the netlog folder, which is going to be CD netlog. And then I'm going to open the rasmatas3 text file through the command nano rasmatas3 and the extension. So here you can see we have successfully captured the password and the password is password1234. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.